Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? I'm doing quite well. I hope you guys are doing quite well. I'm here to inspire you guys again and share with you guys what I'm up to. So, um, these are finger displays that they come in black velvet. And I've shown you guys my neck displays that I like to uh, alter. And these also I like to alter. And what you see there are handmade rings that I've done. The little girl ring over there that I just took off and my flower ring up there and just an um, organic pearl ring. And these are all in my personal collection that I've made and on this one if you stick with me throughout the whole video you'll get to see how I got to creating these altered finger displays. That butterfly ring I just recently made also and I'm showing you guys a side display on those other two rings you see down there also have been made by me over the years a filigree wrapped stone and another very organic uh, ring that I made so I think we're gonna move on in a second to the DIY and how to alter your black velvet finger displays. You see glitter, you see paint. All of it comes together little by little and you'll see mistakes that I've made and all the mess that I make and there what you see is glue. Now I'll warn you this is a, a mistake and I kept it on film so that you guys can see. So I didn't gesso it like I normally gesso my neck displays which I should have known better but I thought I'd take the easy way out and not gesso it first so I just went straight on with glue and a napkin like I normally would do if I had gesso. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about there's a video with um, a spring inspired neck display that'll show you how to gesso but if you stick with me you'll see lots of mistakes that become quite a good thing but you can also learn from it. So yeah, it does not work out to go straight onto these velvet displays with just glue. Really, really, really does not work out. So here's the next day where it dried up and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do what I do. I'm just gonna continue to play and here is where I add gesso on top of everything that has dried overnight. And it worked out quite well if you stick with me. So we are speeding through. Um, I think you guys can get, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can get the gist of, of, you know, just gessoing. And here's another one I wanted to work on too. While one was drying, I wanted to work on this other one here also. Uh, at the beginning of the video, these are the two that you see. And we're, we did it the smart way the second time. We're going straight in with gesso. The gesso gives anything that you want to apply to these displays a grit. Basically, a grip to grab onto. And I think this we're working here on the third day. And right now we're applying some gel medium. You can use school glue, you can use gel medium, uh, you can use Mod Podge, Fabric Podge, and I have a napkin there that you see. And I'm just grabbing random pieces and placing it onto my ring display. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I, I wasn't quite, well, at this point I got kind of fond with it and I was okay with it. The colors were, were very nice and vibrant. But then when I finished covering it, I said it needs, it really does need more. So you'll see me in a second what I end up doing to it after I let it dry another 24 hours. So that there just tells you that I took about three to four days uh, recording off and on. I just like to make sure that they are thoroughly dry and that one's done and basically it's just going to sit there 
and dry overnight again. So I think we're on our going to be on our fourth day in the next clip. And on this one we're adding some some more um, I think I'm using matte medium gel and we're adding a napkin that has some really pretty elephants on them but the elephants don't show up so if you stick with me you'll see how we get to the polka dots that you guys seen at the beginning of the video so that's why I mentioned we go through a lot here we change it up quite a few times and keep adding until secrets creative mind is happy <laughs> ends up happening. So we're just placing little bits and pieces is covering up the whole um, dis finger display and it's the next day so yeah now we're cutting away all the excess. I do suggest that you don't go underneath the display because then they don't sit quite well. They start rocking back and forth if you're doing some kind of jewelry show, you're not going to want your little displays rocking back and forth and falling off of the table. And here I'm adding, I think that's Mod Posh. Yeah, it is Mod Posh. Fabric Mod Posh. It's nice and thick. Then we're going to scoot our chair all the way to the other end of the t room, which I'm so grateful to be able to scoot my chair all around the room. We've moved everything around and that video will be coming up soon. I go and grab some glitter, some green glitter as a matter of fact. And I'm inspired to do what makes me think of grass. So we got some glittery glass. By the time I'm done with this one display, the one where we just put uh, green glitter on, I end up looking at it now that I have it on my shelf, and I think of um, Art Deco. That's what it reminds me of, of Art Deco era. It's really nice. It reminds me of a, what are those called, a cathedral Art Deco um, stained glass window. There we go. I got it out of my mouth. So I just painted on some very organic freeform flowers in red and yellow. And of course we're getting some red glitter out. See, because at this time I still wasn't positive where I was heading. And some yellow glitter. And here's the second one. I wasn't happy with it after it's been dried. It just didn't pop. So I ended up putting some more of the decoupage fabric glue. And I have some polka dot tissue paper. Which if you stick with me, <laughs> you'll see that it still didn't make me happy. And so we transform it again once it's dried for a good 24 hours. Now you probably really don't need to let it dry for 24 hours. But since I'm working on about oh, 9 projects at one time and in one day, filming little bits here and there and letting things dry on one project and moving on to the next project, my mind is full of ideas. So what I end up doing is popping in and out of each project that I have and filming and stopping and uploading and all that good stuff. I enjoy doing it. So yeah, that's why I do end up leaving them to dry for 24 hours. Plus I like to make sure that they're thoroughly dry. So we're still working. In my mind I'm thinking I'm going to like this because I love polka dots. But since you've seen the beginning of the video where I show what we're going to do, you'll notice that this is the display you've seen that ended up with gold polka dots. And I'll show you if you stick with me how I got those beautiful, very shiny gold polka dots.
Okay, we're setting that aside. And here we go, the next day. Five days, folks. <laughs> These Molotto, if I'm even pronouncing them right, are amazing. Love, love, love the jet black, 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 that it, the ink that it gives. It's amazing. And there I'm using my Uniball, which I always mention that you guys should set it to become permanent. Otherwise, it will move. You set it with a heat gun. Yes, I do suggest you buy some of those Molotovs if it's if you're able to. Then I have some golden in black and um, a very thin brush and outlining my flowers. Art Nouveau is what I'm trying to get to. That's the style of this neck the uh, ring display. Now the only reason I'm using my golden black is because I couldn't find any of my black paints. So no matter what kind of paint you have, it's it's doable. Just happen to have that stuff in hand. I'm just outlining my flowers. And now here we go. Gold leafing pin. I love this thing. And we're going to go over the white dots. And we're going to actually make our own little dots. <laughs> it's limitless. Limitless as long as you allow yourself to be limitless. Just to play. And these ring displays are in my private collection in my closet. And I hold my jewelry on them. It's really fun to have them in in your own collection or give as gifts. They can be given as gifts. Or use them in the farmers market to display your jewelry if you're trying to sell some. Even on Etsy to take your photos. A wonderful subscriber of mine said that she's going to recreate my neck displays. And um, she's going to do that so that she can take her pictures for her Etsy shop. Okay, so now we have the Molotow in white. This stuff is amazing. This is where I'm allowing myself to be even more freer and just just going with it because I know that by me using this white pin, if I don't like the end result, I can go right over it with my black paint or black marker and we'll be fine. And you'll see in a minute that I do end up going over it with a little bit of brown, which I don't think I captured. I ended up using some some umber brown on the, the stems of the flowers. And then I, I do think that I did catch myself using green on the stems of the flowers. Yeah, there we go. The beautiful green. I think it's Liquitex or Golden. It's really pretty green. Just to give dimension. And as far as this one, we end up going in and doing some white dots. And some white polka dots because I did love the white polka dots that were there at the beginning. They just weren't enough for me. So that's why we went over with gold and now we're doing white. And I think it's a very, very fun little piece. It reminds me of circus. Circus, although I'm totally against circuses. Really against them. But I do like a circus theme in my art. And here we go. Here's the end result. Hope I inspired you guys, sharing with you guys what's in my mind and what I get out there on my, out of my mind and onto whatever's in front of me, whatever I get my hands on, I end up creating into my own unique 
art one of a kind and I love that I love that I have things that come out of my brain <laughs> bring creativity and being free to be able to play I so enjoy YouTube I enjoy sharing with you guys and hopefully inspiring you guys and leave me a comment and don't forget to thumbs up it really does help me it gets YouTube to 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 notice me as a matter of fact I'm heading to YouTube Creator Day here in LA I'm gonna have a blast so please like thumbs up share and enjoy and there's more videos coming your way and I'll talk to you guys soon bye bye